Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life. I hope you're all doing well today. And I am here today to talk about my TBR check-in in book haul. I'm gonna just apologize right now if you hear any noise, uh, mechanical noise from the background, because my daughter is washing her car outside and my husband is working on lawnmowers. So I'm hoping that I've got myself a window here where that noise won't be too bad, but who knows? So I apologize in advance. Anyway, let's just get right to it. It was a great reading month for me in March. Um, I read 15 books total, and of those, seven were off my shelf. Um, so it's it was shaping up to be a good, a good reading month. So let's just look at the statistics, shall we? Here's my little chart. Um, so you can see I read 15 books total. Um, off my shelf, seven physical books. One book brought in, only hauled one book this month, which was awesome, unhauled one book. And so that left me with a minus seven for the month, which brings my total down to my physical TBR shelves in this house of 115 books. So I am feeling just ecstatic about that. I did so well in March. Um, so let's talk about, first of all, let's talk about the book that I, it, I unhauled. I DNF'd um, this book from the ancient TBR, this is a, suppose, a supposedly fun thing I'll never do again by David Foster Wallace. This is a collection of essays. I had already read the um, title essay from this collection somewhere else um, a long time ago. And then I found the whole collection at a library book sale several years ago and picked it up. Um, I started, I picked this up last month and read like a couple of pages in the first essay. And I was like, you know what? I'm just not interested anymore in his voice. Um, this is an older collection as well, and it just felt really dated to me. Uh, and so I just said it was, this first came out in 1997. So I just said, no, I'm not interested anymore. So I'm getting rid of that. Um, and so what else? The other thing off the ancient TBR that I read and completed was, uh, The Namesake by Jhumpa Lahiri, which I've discussed in a previous video. So that's two books off this shelf right here these books, the ancient TBR. So that is shrinking really well. The other, I then read two books off my shelf for the uh, booktube prize. One was The Groundbreaking by Scott Ellsworth and then Orwell's Roses by Rebecca Solnit, um, both of which I really enjoyed. So that's two down from the TBR shelf that were for the booktube prize. Two down from the TBR shelf for the Book Naturalist Book Club. That was Why Fish Don't Exist by Lulu Miller and Spineless by Julie Burwald, which Doris just talked about on her channel that Julie Burwald has a brand new book out. So I will certainly be purchasing that in the near future. So, but that one's off the TBR. And then um, I read Zero Fail by Carol Leoning off the TBR shelf. This was excellent history of the Secret Service that I've talked about. I've talked about all those books in previous videos. So those all came off the physical TBR. So what book did I bring in? That was this book, Well Schooled in Murder by Elizabeth George. This is the third book in the Inspector Lindley mystery series, um, a British police procedural, well, no, it's not really police procedural. It's a British detective mystery series about um, Thomas Lindley, who is uh, an aristocrat, and his partner, um, Havers, who is uh, from the working class and how those two get along, their extended sort of friends and family come into play. And I just really, really enjoy them. So I actually brought the, both brought this into the house um, from paperback swap. So this is a used copy and read it in March because I buddy read this with Britta Bowler for March Mystery Madness. So that came in and also got read. So that's awesome. So that's seven books total. Uh, is that right? No, seven books read and one book unhauled. So eight books total done off the physical TBR. So I'm feeling really, really good about my progress so far in 2022 um, for reading. Um, you know, I have already purchased three books in the month of April and it's only April 9th. Um, and I, you know, probably will purchase some more, but if I continue to keep reading these books off my physical shelves as well as purchasing them, as long as I'm 
you know, either keeping it at zero or, you know, only bringing in um, a few, I think I am in a manageable phase. Like I've said before, my goal is not to have a zero TBR. I have no desire to have a zero TBR. I had been playing this game with myself to try to see if I could get it to my physical TBR to 100 books to see if I could. <laughs> and basically to be more intentional about the books that I'm bringing into my house. Because that is the biggest thing for me is I will go to a book sale, like a library book sale, or I will go to a Goodwill or some other place where used books are really cheap. And I will see a book that I just recognize the title, or I recognize the author, and I will just grab it because it's cheap, rather than it being a book that I specifically want to read right now. Um, and then those books languish on my shelves while I read the things that I am truly wanting to read at the moment. So I just want to be more intentional about what books I bring in in terms of just like buying books that I want to read now and not buying books that I just think that maybe someday I might like to read. So that's sort of just in case you haven't been watching these series from the beginning, you might want to know why the heck are you doing this, Heidi? So that's why I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, very successful month of March. Uh, and I just feel really pleased with myself um, for how I did. So I hope you are all doing well and finding some great books to read. And I will talk to you later.